Hey there, everybody. I'm here to show you how to do your first assignment for me in your music class online for Harrison Park. For a little while, I'd like to work with Chrome Music Lab, the song maker. It may look like sort of a visual art app, but really it's a very powerful music composition tool. And this is just the simplest kind of composition you can do with it. I'll assume that you've successfully found Google Classroom and the class, whatever your class with me is. The assignment will be posted here in your class. Here it is. Make sure you're looking at the instructions. This link takes you right to the song maker and it'll take you right here to a blank canvas where you can do whatever you like. Now you can copy my work here or you can do your own. It doesn't matter to me. The important thing is that you save it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this tutorial at the end after I show you how to make a little song. Red is Do, orange is Re, yellow Mi, green Fa, dark green So, blue is La, pink is T, maybe that's purple. There you are, let's see what that sounds like. Well, it doesn't really sound like a song, so I'm going to mix them up a little bit. All right, there, I've written a little melody. Let's hear what it sounds like. Listen to your melody. You hit the play button. Oh, my head's in the way. It's over here. Look at that. In the lower left-hand corner of the screen, and then you can listen to your melody. Now, oh, it's not amazing, but we're gonna go forward from here and add a beat. Look at my beat, and I like, instead of ta-ta-ta, I like ta-ta-ti-ti-ta. -ti so ta-ta-ti-ti-ta, 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 ta-ta-ti-ti-ta. It's good. And you know what, I can change it up however I like. If I want to make it a little more exciting at the end, that's usually the place to do it. I might add some more notes. I don't know, why not? fine. Now I can change my instrument. Again, my head's in the way, but if you look right here, where my head is, the marimba. Look at that. If you click that button, it'll change the instrument. Look at that. And that's going to sound like a piano. You might like this sound better. There's a lot of different options. I personally like the synth that So nice. It's like a video game soundtrack, yeah? Once you've had enough fun messing around in here, you can do whatever you like. The important thing is that you save. Save button's way on the other side of the screen over there. Look at it. So if we follow my mouse, I'm going to click save. Good. And it gives you a link. And you get copy link. And that's what you're going to put right into Google Classroom is that link. You can just paste it right in the assignment or in the conversation. Go into your classroom here, Google Classroom. I assume it'll look something like this. If you click on it and paste the link, or here if you just share it with the class, I'm going to share this example so you all can see it. To put it in here, you right click and find paste in the drop down menu. And there it is. You can also use Control V or Command V. Get that link in there, post it. I'll give you a comment on it and might ask you to change it in some way. Probably won't ask you to do much on this one since it's the first one. But that just want to see, make sure we can just do something very simple and save it so that we can share our work and enjoy it, really, and enjoy what each other do in this environment. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, next assignment coming. Uh, I look forward to hearing what you write.